Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. It's Sunday morning, September the 19th at 7.34 a.m. Um, something came to me last night. I'm not going to say it was a Holy Spirit message, but I was, as after I was praying and I was laying there thinking about all this, um, you know, what's going on in La Palma and the Canary Islands and how Puerto Rico is already evacuating, telling people to get their stuff together and get on with evacuating, sorry. Um, <clears throat> the thought occurred to me, now this is just me thinking, okay, putting two and two together, this is going to happen. And I'm going to read you some things that are prophetic. Um, I saw a video the other day where somebody had just caught some short footage of all these big white tents set up somewhere here in the United States. They call it a COVID camp. It's like a FEMA camp, you know, probably for quarantine purposes in quotes but what if people you know running from the east coast go to these you know they're directed new york's already said oh we're putting up roadblocks on our interstate and our toll roads and you're not driving on our roads if you're not you know vaccinated that's just a fact. Now, whether it's gone into effect already or not, I, I don't know. The point is, I'm just telling you uh, the pieces that I've been picking up this week. I'm putting two and two together, I believe. All right, so Puerto Rico saying they got these football fields they're preparing for people to camp at. What if they show up and say, oh, well, you can't stay here if you're not vaccinated? Okay, uh, if you caught my sermon, teaching, whatever you want to call it, it was 45 minutes long. I don't think it got many views, unless it has since I last looked. On It started off with Psalm 141 which is kind of like Psalm 91, protection prayer, if you could, you could read at night. Or, um, and then anyway, it led into Psalm 2, about how all the leaders take counsel together. They're making their plans to do their thing to bring about this new world order. It, I mean, that's nothing new. Everybody knows that's going on, or you should. We've got the one world trade center now they quit calling it freedom tower now it's the one world trade center all right so there's that so we know all the kings of the world are taking counsel together they're not against each other people they're each playing their part on this great big chessboard called earth but <laughs> except Except it's really not, because then that's black against white, right? Good against evil, but it's really evil with evil. It's a game, and they're <laughs> that's all planned out. So, okay, let's just say they're going to purposely blow up the southern part of the Canary Islands. Just a what if, just throwing it out there. Kind of like what they did, you know, on 9-11 20 years ago. Oh, wait a minute. That's a conspiracy theory. I can't say that happened for sure. Right? Right. Not supposed to talk about conspiracy theories on YouTube. Anyway, so people, you know... One of the things I want to share with you this morning is Reuters. Mainstream media is now reporting this. Okay? They're scientists. 
They're saying the scientists are checking out the gas in the earth. They're showing a picture of two young women. They look like students more than scientists. If you ask me, one's in pounding something into the earth with a tube attached to it so the other one can suck the gas out and find out what's going on down there. Uh-huh. I'm sure that needle that she's jamming into the earth isn't all that deep. But there's a lot of people set up over there, you know, watching. They're telling the shopkeeper he's got to be packed and ready to go. Get his medicine, get his passport, get his, his title to his shop and his home and blah, blah, blah. And already, you know. And they're interpreting for him. Okay, so... Now, I've notified some people, my folks on the eastern, that live on the eastern coast, as well as others that can be notifying who they know that live over there. Oh, I'm supposed to not be in OBS. I don't know how that looks to you, but anyway, my mic is set up. Y'all should be hearing me just fine. Okay. And, um, you nasty commenters, uh, Go ahead, leave your comments. I'm just going to delete them. I'm not going to close the comments because I, I, I don't like doing that. And, um, but seriously, uh, we know who you are. You don't want nobody, you didn't want anybody to, to be prepared. But now, the powers that be are allowing Reuters to report it. Puerto Ricans are reporting it. How long can you keep it a secret, right? <laughs> so, USGS, you might as well go ahead and come clean and give your report to and turn the buoy system back on. Did I report on that? Yeah, I forget. We had 80% of our buoys that detect tsunamis shut down offline. Okay, I'm sure it was a glitch in the system. But they went offline day before yesterday. I haven't yet seen if they're back on. Might as well turn them back on. Okay, we all know what's going on. Don't think the other people don't know. They know. Alright, now whether this is a natural occurrence, God's wrath, it's His judgment. He's, if he allows it, it's his judgment. Because if he doesn't want the eastern coast of the United States underwater and Florida and Puerto Rico and whatever parts of the rest of the world are going to be affected, if he didn't want that, he can stop it. And praying against it, unless you're saying, Father, if it be your will... Let this not happen. You're praying against his will. And you don't want to do that. Alright. So this is the video that came up first to me. I'm going to play it for you. Canary Island La Palma on Volcano Alert. Very short. Take a listen. Scientists worry a volcano may erupt on the Spanish island of La Palma. In recent days, nearly 400 million cubic feet of magma have seeped into the Cumbre Vieja National Park, south of the island. And in the past weeks, more than 4,000 tremors have been detected near the Tenaguay volcano, one of the most active volcanoes in Spain that last erupted in 1971. The swarm of earthquakes and the shell... Okay, what happened? ...seismic activity has authorities on edge. They declared a yellow alert for volcano eruption, the second of a four-level alert system. And they have told residents, like the shopkeeper, to be prepared for an evacuation. I've been told to have some clothes packed to have my insurance car. Okay, stop messing with my computer. ...ready to take with us, because nobody knows what can happen. The moment they tell us to get out, we'll leave. Any evacuation plan, if activated, would involve moving 40,000 people. In the meantime, scientists are doing everything they can to understand the activity beneath the ground. This scientist is injecting a syringe into the earth, extracting gas in order to analyze it in the lab. 
She says she hopes to find out what type of gas there is, especially those of volcanic origin and its concentration to understand anomalies. Hey, that girl. Let me pause that a second. Oh, that's the end of it. That one girl that's on, on the left side of the screen, she looks just like an actress. I'm not saying she is, but she looks just like... I can't remember what show. I haven't watched TV in so long. Oh, yeah. Uh, she played a resident on Grey's Anatomy, and I gave that up like 10 years ago, watching those. Uh, she was the one married, uh, not married, but living with Alex, and she couldn't marry him because she was already married to a, um, a crazy man and beat her and stuff, so anyway, <laughs> I said, oh, wait a minute, I know her from somewhere, and it hit me. That's, that looks like that actress. Okay, but I'm not saying she's a crisis actor or nothing. I'm not dispelling this video as being anything but the truth. All right. Okay, so that was the end of it. They're looking into it, and it was reported on Reuters. Now, now um, I'm going to go back up here and click on... Um, this is a signal where I get links from the folks that are on Grafted in Teen Jesus. And this prophecy came up. It was actually read last night. Um, but was posted by one of the girls 10 hours ago. On 9-18-21, the Holy Spirit says to someone named Carrie Anna 83, I don't know her. I can't vouch for the validity of all her messages. I've never heard of her before. So just take take it to the Lord. If you still want further uh, proof or say a word of knowledge for yourself, this is what she got. Uh, at 5.50 a.m. yesterday, prepare children, a tsunami is coming. Prepare, children. A tsunami is coming. Prepare, children. A tsunami is coming. At 5.53 a.m., she hears, On the east coast of the United States. On the east coast of the United States. On the east coast of the United States. Unquote. All right? Repeated three times? You don't make that up in your head. All right, then this one is the La Palma Canary Islands Volcano Live Evacuation Notice from Porto Nios. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this one. And I'll leave the links to these videos so you can have them to share, okay? Let's see if it'll pull up. This is only one minute. Good. Let's see what it says. Here's a notice they're putting out. You can pause it, read it if you want. It's as loud as you, it's not very loud. Putting them in mailboxes and some are handing them out, etc. They're, he says they're putting them in mailboxes and handing them out. All right, boy, you can hardly hear him. Um, it's called La Palma Canary Islands Volcano Live Evacuation Notice from Puerto Naos. Two kilometers away, eruption. Mr. Chopin, Chopernup. Okay, yeah, he was one of the links that I shared yesterday. All right, I don't know if it was this one. I don't think so. Anyway, so I'll put that. I'll check on it. Make sure it's not not a duplicate. All right. Let me go back to signal. So that's another one you can try to. Let's see if we enlarge it. Maybe we can read it, but probably it's in Spanish anyway. Manchester is up 
Over the mountain. Okay, I know what that means. Triage. Here in, in America, in English, triage is what you do when people come into the ER or there's a major catastrophe. The team, the team, the emergency medical team sent out will triage the group. Look for dead bodies. They're almost dead. They just mark them with a certain color, cover them up, and nobody tends to them. The next, they're savable but severe. They mark them with a certain color and they get them bodies moved to a certain area. You see what I'm saying? Or those people. They're not bodies yet. They're people. Okay. And, and all, so on. And then there's others that just need a little bandaging and maybe some food and water. Okay. So they'll send them to walk to another area. And there might be four or five categories. You know, depending on their system you know each hospital or, or area or type of disaster might have its own system set up there's usually three sets or four of uh, bodies people victims whatever you want to call them but what I was starting to say is what if they run <laughs> they run to these set up places for relief for a place to stay while their house is being washed away on the eastern coast and it's oh but if you know you have to get the you have to be medically prepared and ready to live here you can't stay here if you're not or you're kept and then well we all know there are internment camps set up all around America and all over the world. Re-education internment camps. Where it'll try to talk people into taking it. Okay, so that's just a fact. They want everybody to be where they can't make anybody else sick. Quote, unquote. Okay, let's go back to Signal. And I want to read to you what Eric D. Hale received. Let's see, she posted this two hours ago. Visions and dreams from God the Father. Los Angeles has been destroyed, came on TV. Now remember, visions and dreams. All right, it just didn't happen, okay? Los Angeles has been destroyed, came on TV. The words sudden doom showed up across the screen. Micah 7 verse 16. They shall put their hand over their mouth in astonishment and terror at the situation that befalls the area. It won't just be one mega quake for my state or the surrounding countries of the ring of fire. The ring of fire. If you don't know what that is, look it up. In the dream, I said, the ring of fire, mega earthquakes, it was an S on that thing. In other words, multiple earthquakes. I seen I was doing a love stream with God's people. Then somebody asked a question. Asteroid? Earthquake? Tsunami? Question, question, question mark. That is what I saw as the question. I think they're doing a live stream now. We'll see. That is what I saw as the question. I said the mighty dreadful prophet from Kenya is really sent by God. You about to get proof. Jesus Christ is really among us. 9.0 earthquake in the ring of fire. This earthquake where it occurred was a prophetic utterance that came to pass super fast. It was in New Zealand, standing on a balcony of a sister in Christ, daughter of God, and we was watching the wave, how it engulfed New Zealand. She was filming what was happening for a testimonial, how she was protected by God at 4.20. 4.34 a.m., 
4.34 a.m. in the morning is what I said. That is when it happened. 4.34 a.m. A 9.0 will happen. Mark 13, verse 35. Watch, therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming. In the evening, at midnight, at the crowing of the rooster, or in the morning. Verse 36. Lest coming, suddenly he find you sleeping. Verse 37. And what I say to you, I say to you all. Watch. Nice, big, wicked city, huh? Woe to you. Soon you will be gone forever. Look down. I'm talking about you, California dreaming. The high places are filled with demons. Okay, that was Eric Hale. Posted 10 hours ago. Said Saturday, 8.03 p.m. is when she actually put that up when we were on last night. All right. Um, plural, yeah. He was letting them know it was plural. Okay, I need to do a follow-up live stream again in the morning is what Kathy said. Now, breaking news. This was just issued today for the residents of L.A. Huh. Sorry, this is in Spanish. If anyone can translate, please put the translation in the comment section. Evac evacuation leaflets were also passed out today. What? We're, we're getting this together. Right here, I should have went live. Oh, well, it's all right. I'm not real comfortable with doing it on this computer. All right. Breaking news. This was just issued today for residents of L.A. Oh, I'm sorry. It cut off at L.A. I thought Los Angeles. La Palma. This was just issued today for residents of La Palma. Warning them about the volcano. That was put up yesterday. All right. So that's enough. It's only 40 seconds. Let me blow it up. All right, see, you can read it. If you know Spanish, prepare, wait a minute, some of this, their words, some of their words are so similar. Uh, plan for an emergency, familiar. Aquitter and Pano de, and I don't know any of that word. But this evacuation, we know that word. Prepare, we know that word. Mokila, con to essential. All right, essentials, medication, documents, radio con pilas, cell phone. Mobile con carcador, that could be your mobile phone. Linterna, not sure about that. Agua, water, if you have bottled water, take that. Alimentos basicos, your basic necessities. I can tell you that. Okay, so anyway, there you go. If, if you can read that and have anything more to add than what I said, okay, please do so in the comments section. Let me go back. Now, okay, I've got that pulled up. I gotta make sure all these stay pulled up. I'm seeing what other things were put in the thread last night or this morning. Latest information on the La Palma volcano and also new. All right, let's click on that. It's another YouTube video. It's six minutes and ten seconds. Let's see who's putting this one up. Latest information on the La Palma volcano and also new revelations from Brother Elijah on MOTB. Okay, this is from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. I will listen for a minute. Let's see what they say. Hello, everybody. This is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. So I just wanted to come on and bring you the latest uh, information from our brother elijah now elijah has a channel 
uh, Elijah Project Where's Prophecy. My now, he's my go-to guy now. He is my main man for uh, for uh, for the Word of God and for scriptures and illuminating what is going on in the world right now. Uh, please check out his channel, Elijah Project Prophecy. Uh, he's going to let you know about the rapture, what it means, and why there hasn't been a rapture right now. And, um, yeah, and I, other I information know that. about the mark of the beast that you really need to uh, to know. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in the world, and uh, this brother Elijah really breaks down the scriptures better than anyone that I have really heard in years and years and years. So I highly recommend his channel, folks, if you want to get uh, the truth from the Word of God. So um, I wanted to put in that plug for him. Also, we have some uh, more news coming in uh, about the uh, earthquakes. I wanted to give you the latest information um, uh, about the La Palma situation. There really hasn't been any change uh, in the last four or five hours since I did my uh, last update. But this is the latest information. La Palma Island, Canary Islands earthquake swarm picks up again. Deformation reaches 10 uh, centimeters uplift. Uh, actually, that has been uh, raised to 12 centimeters now. Uh, this uh, this alert here. If you don't understand that, that means the dirt has lifted up. First 10, and now it's 12 centimeters. Are well, I know that when you're birthing a baby, the head has to. <laughs> you have to get 10 centimeters dilated before they take you to delivery <laughs> is does that help <laughs> 10 centimeters so one is not a lot but when you're earth, you're talking about the earth raising overnight you know it's already 10 10 centimeters and now it's up another two okay so this is just more indication of the lava pushing up okay if that helps i hope that helps Okay, so I will leave a link to that, and you all can check that out, because uh, he's going to get into more about MOTB. Okay, uh, I didn't mean to go there. Go back out of OBS. Oops, I hit wrong button. Okay, I wanted to hit signal and see what else has been added since last night. All right, here's one from La Palma Canary Islands, Volcano Live from Puerto Rico, two kilometers away. I mean, Puerto Na Naos, which is, must be, I don't know where that is. It may not be in Puerto Rico. Let's listen. Fifty-seven seconds. It's another short one, so we'll listen. Wait, let's put who's who's doing it. Okay, this is the Palma Puerto Mr. Chopernup. At the end there is Fred Caliente. And you have Pelerimo, Chaco Verde. And then up this way. Now if you look I'm sorry he you I it's really hard to hear, but perhaps when you pull up the link, if your equipment's better than his um, I've got my mic plugged in, so uh, it's picking up probably exactly what I'm hearing. Maybe better. Up on that finca there, you go back about two kilometers, pretty much in there, there's a volcano. It's got problems. And we went up there today to check it out, but they wouldn't let us go any further. Don't know why. Okay, then. Um, not sure if that was real helpful. I have to look up where is this Porto Naos. It may be closer to La Palma. Okay. La Isla Oops. de La Palma no deja de temblar. La what? noche de este sábado. La isla... What is this? Oh, it switched over to the next one already. And this is in, obviously, Spanish. So if you know Spanish... <laughs> 
there's more on here okay so I'm gonna go back to this one and leave it here so I can put it in the links all right Let's see what else has been added La Palma Canary Island volcano live from Puerto Nails eruption three minutes Okay, let's go here. So this must be where over in the Canary Islands is Porto Nails. However you say it. Nails. Two minutes, 45 seconds. La Palma in three minutes or less, part one. Santa Cruz de La Palma, the capital. Then we have the airport. This is Breda Baja, Breda Alta. This is San Pedro. You drive, 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 drive. You come through the tunnel. Then you can come up and you get to El Pilar. This is El Pilar, recreational area. There's a lookout here. You can see over Los Llanos de Adelante. Okay? So now we're in El Pilar. You go up, 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 and you get to the top here. And this is the, this is the landscape of the moon. This is all the route to the volcanoes. Okay, you can walk this. You do it on a full moon, and you see all these volcanoes. They look prehistoric. So cool. Volcano, volcano, volcano. Walking down. Volcano, volcano. Then you come down to this volcano, San Antonio. This is the one in the pictures that you see all the, the postcards, if you see the postcards. Then there's another one right here. Then you walk down. There's a lighthouse here, and also they make salt here. You go up, up, up. These are all bananas. Back up. Up Bananas. Here. And then we get to Yede. Yede. Here is the volcano they're speaking of. Okay? This is okay. Puerto Naos. So this is... Alright. Here's Puerto Naos. Where he just said is the volcano that's going to erupt. So this is the southern part of that Canary Island. Okay? Oh my goodness. Bombilla, small town. This is a He's really close. Beach, El Remo. Okay, this is the problem here. But this is nothing to do with up here. This is the thing that they say is going to crack into the ocean. You have also Tazacorte, Pueblo Tazacorte. Did you catch that? This volcano down here is not the problem as much as the fault line up here. That's going to crack and cause the southern portion of this island to fall into the ocean, which is going to cause the tsunami. Okay? I wondered how a volcano was going to cause this to crack off, but I guess I don't scientifically understand the activity of a volcano. Perhaps some of you do. Up, 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 and then you get to the plateau, El Punta, and then you can go all the way up to the next part, and I'll give you part two on that. So that's a two-minute crash course on La Palma. Okay. A lot of volcanoes on that here. little piece of land. Okay. And this is what channel? Mr. Chopper. Now we understand. Now I know who this Mr. Chopper knock is. It just. Oh, now he has 1.37 thousand subscribers. He only had a few a couple days ago. <laughs> May cut the, it's anyway you got that. Wow. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else worth reporting this morning. Uh, this was something a drone captured. No one was supposed to see. That doesn't have to do with what we're talking about. Nephilim, yeah, in the Antarctica. 
All right, an hour ago, Reuters. All right, I just reported that one. All right, now this is very interesting. This is what I found yesterday or maybe a couple days ago when I did that first report on the Palma and I was looking for any more information I could find. This is a real quick, um, better understanding of exactly how this is going to affect the eastern shore of the United States. So I'm going to play it for you so you can see this. It's, it's very helpful if you can't understand how far in the water will go. All right. And it's put up by Naked Science. A slide from this mountain could kill millions of people in Europe and along America's eastern seaboard. Some eminent scientists warn that it's purely a matter of time till it happens. This is the volcanic island of La Palma, 700 miles off the northwest coast of Africa. It's a newborn baby island, barely past its four millionth birthday, right. created in the last stage of what geologists call the rock cycle. Volcanoes can form land in various ways. In Hawaii, Lava gently pours from vents in the ground to build up almost horizontal layers of new rock. But elsewhere, as here on La Palma, more violent eruptions build steep-sided cones with surrounding layers of thick ash. Eruptions in the past 60 years have jolted this island to the core, creating a fault line, a crack you can walk through, along the island's central spine, 6,000 feet above the Atlantic Ocean. On the western side of the fault, the land fell 13 feet down, then stopped. Geologist Bill McGuire and other scientists say gas pressures could build up in a future eruption and crack open the island along this fault line. They have traced the fault for at least nine miles along the island ridge. And they believe the fault is so long that when it cracks open, 500 billion tons of rock will slide thousands of feet down into the ocean. So it's gonna go during a future eruption, there's no doubt about that. The problem is eruptions occur sometimes every 20 years, sometimes every 200 years. Maguire paints a terrifying fantasy picture of what anyone standing on the top of the landslide would see and hear. I don't know if anybody's heard the noise made by um, this amount of rock sliding against, uh, against another great chunk of rock, but I, I, I always imagine it as if there are a million fingers scraping down a blackboard. This slide will reach a speed of more than 220 miles per hour. 